you can see here, I've started with a rectangle, just a, a sketch. And I'm going to use the regular extrude command to give this an extrusion height. So let's say we want to extrude this, I don't know, let's say five inches. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to shell this feature. So I'm just going to go to um, my shell command and I'm going to pick this face and this face and that back face. Um, or maybe what we decided to do is not include that back face. So let's actually remove that and that's what we want to, to create. Now notice my thickness here. Now this is important because I want to convert this into sheet metal. So I need to have a consistent thickness. And that's kind of rule number one is you have to have a consistent thickness. Rule number two is there can't be any continuous faces. So this back corner here is not going to work in the sheet metal environment to create a flat pattern because it's not going to know what to do in that, that area there. But we'll come back to that in a second. So I'm just going to go with point one here. I'm going to click shell and we can see now that that feature has been shelled. Now what I could do is I could go through and do use the fillets and the fillets in turn would give me some corners to unfold but I'm just going to leave it as it is right now and I'm going to go to my I could go to my environments but notice at the far end here there's actually a convert to sheet metal now by doing so what it's asking me for is to select the base face and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bottom face here as my base face now what I want to do is I want to set the thickness to be the same so I'm going to use point, point 0.1 here as, as my thickness and it looks like I actually started with a um, that's why I came up with five millimeters, but I started with my, my the wrong rule. But we can see here that the rule's been applied and maybe what we'll do is we'll actually use the thickness from the rule. And what I'm gonna do in my corners here is I'm actually gonna ask it to tear the corners. So we're gonna do something like that um, in the corner. So I'm just gonna click done, we'll save our edits here and we'll use the thickness from the rule. So we'll click done and, and we'll do that. Now at this point, I still can't unfold this. So I have some some options here. And one of them is I can actually use the corner seam tool. And using the corner seam tool, notice the rip option. So I can come in here and say, I'd really like to, to rip that. And maybe I'd like this to be gap size times two is what I want in that corner. So we'll click apply on, on that to create that first one. And I'll come in this corner here. Maybe what I'd like to do is actually change the, the results here. Um, again, let's just go with gap size in this corner and we'll click okay. And I'm able to use that corner seam tool to build those rips in the corner for me. Now we're getting closer here. Um, even though you know Inventor 2016 supports sharp corners, we still need some type of bend in there. And again, I don't really want to use the fillet command to figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bend feature. With the bend feature, I can come in here and pick that existing edge and notice how we'll go in there and actually apply that bend to both sides. So I don't have to worry about making the outside be the inside my, or, you know, minus the, the thickness or, you know, the outside be the inside plus the thickness. I can use that bend feature and I can actually apply those corners for me. So you can see how that's gone in there and it's, it's created it the way I want it to. So now if I click the create flat pattern option, what we can see is that it has gone in there and built that flat pattern for me. So the idea here is that you can start with um, regular features and actually go in there and unfold it. Now let's create another new part. So I'm just gonna click new here. Let's create a, a standard part. And what I'm gonna do in this standard part is I'm gonna create a sketch and let's just sketch on this face. And I'm gonna create a, um, a line to use as a center line. So we'll generate our line. And I'm actually going to make that into a center line. Not that I'd have to, but We'll do that. And the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a two point rectangle. So what I want is I want something like this. And again, I'm gonna go with point one as my thickness. Um, we'll dimension the angle in here so we can manage that. So we'll go 20. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start dimensioning this thing. So what I want here is on the, on the bottom here, I want to have a diameter, let's say to the, to the outside point here, I want to have a diameter of you know eight inches and I want this to have an overall height here I want this to have an overall height of five inches now I could go through and continue to dimension this but I think this is a good enough starting point so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to revolve this so I'm just going to use the regular revolve feature and I'm going to revolve this with an angle of 359 degrees because I don't want this to go all the way around because I can't have one continuous face on this because remember we have some rules for sheet metal number one it's got to have a consistent thickness number two can't be one continuous face there has to be some type of break or some type of gap in it and number three there's going to be some type of, of bend area so even if it's sharp corner there still needs to be some type of, of bend in there 
So I'm going to click OK. And again, I'm going to go over and I'm going to convert to sheet metal. And I'm going to say this is my base face. In this case, since um, I picked a face where it was able to recognize the thickness, we can see here that it has grabbed the proper thickness from my model. I'm going to click OK. Well, now if I click Create Flat Pattern, what we're going to see is that it was able to roll that out or, or, or flatten that out. So what this shows you is that you don't have to start in the sheet metal environment. There could be advantages to starting from a you know, regular part using regular tools um, and then um, convert to sheet metal after. Or maybe you decide later in the process that it should be sheet metal. So there's definitely the, the opportunity, the flexibility to kind of, you know, kind of go back and forth and, and end up with a, a model that you can create the flat pattern from.